now that we've learned all about line and we've looked at some art by Kandinsky, whose art was all about line and shape, it's time to make our very own Kandinsky inspired project. This one's kind of like a magic trick because it's watercolor resist. That means the watercolor is not going to mix with our crayon. It's like a magic trick. So we know that a line is a dot that took a walk. We know that we can have straight lines. We know that Mr. Dot can go surfing and make wavy lines. We know that Mr. Dot can jump like a frog and make curved lines. We also know that he can go hiking in the mountains and make zigzag lines. So that's what this piece of art is going to be all about. The white crayon isn't going to very, show up very well on our white piece of paper, but remember, it's a magic trick. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I make sure that my paper's landscape. That means side to side, like a hot dog. And I'm gonna take my crayon and I'm gonna draw one straight line. I have to make sure that I press hard enough that the crayon gets on that paper really good. If you really want to, you can go back over it. And I know you can't see it, but a way to check is to take your finger, very lightly go over that line and see if you can feel it. If you can feel it, you've done it right. Okay. Now we don't have to make all of our lines go side to side. We can have our lines go from top to bottom, all different directions. So let's draw a couple of straight lines. Make sure you're going from one end all the way over to the other. After you think you have enough zigzag li straight lines, after you think you have enough straight lines, we're going to do zigzag lines. You can put this wherever you want. Remember, it's Mr. Dot climbing the mountains. So they're very pointy, like shark teeth. You can check and see if you feel it on the paper. If you want to go over a second time, you totally can. And again, you can do as many zigzag lines as you want wherever you want. You just don't want to cover your paper too much. Now it's time for Mr. Dot to go surfing. Remember, a wave. Curvy line. So now I'm going to do a curvy line all the way across wherever I want it. This one goes up and down too, but it's smooth, it's not pointy. You can go back over it. I know it's hard to see. You probably can't even see it on the video. But remember, it's a magic trick. The very last one is a curved line, like he went jumping like a frog. I'm gonna put my curved line over here. So this one's round, but only on one side. Now we have all of our lines down. Here comes the magic. I'm putting my white crayon to the side I'm getting out my watercolor and my water dish. If you're working from home and you don't have this sponge to make your brush wet, that's
that's totally fine. Plain water works just as well. So watercolor, you have to make sure that your water, your paint is wet or it doesn't work. So I'm going to press my paintbrush down into the sponge, make sure he's nice and wet. When I press and get my paint water on my paintbrush, I'm not pressing straight down. That will make our paintbrush sad. Give him a bad hair day. No one likes a bad hair day. You can feel, see if he's nice and wet. Once he's wet, you can go to whatever color you want and add that to the watercolor. You wanna make sure it's nice and wet. There we go. Now there's enough water in my watercolor to start painting. So it's gonna be like liquid. I am going to very lightly brush my paint over different parts of my painting, of my piece of paper. If you notice, now my lines are starting to reveal themselves. This is the magic trick I was telling you about. So I'm going to spread out my colors. When I'm all out, I'm gonna get more water. I can go back to the same color or I can make a new one. I'm going to speed this up so you can see the whole thing in progress and then I'll show you at the very end.